Hi folks, I'm Charlie and, and I'm Ray and welcome to Model Making Maniacs. We're just going to do a really quick video and uh, show you how to set up the trainer and student mode on the Fly Sky um, receiver, uh, transmitters. Transmitters, yeah. Yeah. no problems. Yeah. So we're going to plug this in now and then we'll also, once you've we've done the setup, I've got a plane here and we'll demonstrate how it works on a on an actual plane and see how we go. Should we plug it in? I reckon we should plug it in. Still. So you have yours? Thank you. Yep. And I've done the same on okay. mine. Setting up the FlySky receiver into trainer mode. So what we do is we get the screen up, hit OK and hold that down to get into that first screen and it's in the system menu so we press OK again and then we use the down arrow key keep going down till we hit the second screen and you see the first option there is trainer mode so we go OK at the moment it's switched off so what we do there is press up to turn it on now at the moment it's on switch A um, and I use that first switch for my sport mode or normal mode. So I actually want to set this to switch B, which is my second one in. Up the top here, this is my switch B. So we go, OK, it moves the, the little arrow down. Now I go up or down to go, the I am, switch B. Now if I flick the switch, engaged, not engaged. So that's working, just by flicking the... The switch up the top so that's all set up basic now so all I do is hold down the press the, hold down the cancel and again and again now I'm on the model I want to use as well that's trainer mode set up on on this one what we're going to do next is set up the student mode on the other receiver and we'll do that now and now we're going to set up student mode on the other receiver to do that again we we press and hold ok and it's in that first system menu press ok press the down arrow key to get to the second screen and we've got trainer mode hit it again we're in student mode here so now I press ok now this will say that all settings will be bypassed so it doesn't matter what model you've got this on it will bypass all that, just go to a blank setting basically. So if we go OK, are you sure you want to continue? So we press the up or down arrow to bring it over to the yes. OK, now that should be in student mode. And to check, hit the cancel, get back, and you now have the S on the screen next to the M09. The S shows up there shows that it is now in student mode. So now we've got the uh, cable plugged in between the two transmitters. Um, Raymond's in trainer mode and I'm in student mode. Um, we've both made sure that we've got our um, throttle cut off so that we can't accidentally fire the plane up while we're inside the house and scare everybody Please. and now Raymond will just explain the process of um, handing control over to me the novice who would be able to take control of this plane while it's actually in the air so, so what we do I'm in trainer mode I've got control of the plane now just to show you what's going to happen um, if I do my aileron you're moving elevator ready you should be able to see the plane wobbling yeah. but I've got I've got control of everything. Mm -hmm. So I've got the plane up and flying and I've got a nice height, you know, three mistakes high and I'm going to hand control over to Charlie so and there I've got control. I now, Charlie if you move your sticks you sh nothing should be happening. You can see now that when I move my sticks nothing's happening but okay. in order for me to take control I would want to have my throttle at 50% so that I'm at cruising. Yeah. So let's assume the Raymond's position the plane in the air, we're going for a fly past. Yep. 
and I've got my throttle now at uh, half stick and everything else is centralized. So we're ready to go. Yep. Right? Yeah. Good. I've got yeah. my throttle. Just want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now what I do is I flick it over, control over to Charlie and I flick the switch and I've got nothing happening. But I can now control the plane from my controller. Okay. You can see that. So back stick, left ailerons, right ailerons. So we're, uh, I've got control. Now, if I'm getting out of control and the plane looks like it's about to do something it's not supposed to, Raymond can take control immediately. So he's got it into some wild curve. I now flick. And, and you can see that I have no control now. And now myself, I'm back to having control. Yes. Okay. But these and cables, I, I had a spare one at home. Um, the S video connector, yeah. so I made one up. You can so, order them. I found them on. It's it's quite long, so we can. I think yeah. we've got probably a couple of meters there, yeah. um, but you can actually get them. I've seen them on Banggood for about eight or ten dollars. Mm -hmm. So if you want to order one, but I like mucking about and doing this and see if I can get it to work myself. But that's that should come that's student mode, yeah. and we'll, we will do a video and I might do it with Charles and we'll get a plane. Yep. up in the sky and we'll flick over to Charlie and he can have a fly and yeah. Yeah. put into a bit of a dive and I'll take control back and pull it back yeah. pull it back and put it back and show you how it actually works in real life I think yes. it'll be a, yeah I think it'd be a good video yeah, yeah. we're yeah. going to use your plane or my plane for that uh, yeah we'll use your plane <laughs> use my plane yeah. okay no problem all sorry. right look thanks for watching anyway and that's that's all from me and and that's all from me okay bye from model making maniacs yeah. see ya bye